Hey, what's going on guys? It's Delby here, and today I'll be showing you guys the top 5 Call of Duty Zombies cutscenes. These are the top 5 cutscenes in Call of Duty Zombies that I think are the best. Now they can be intro or outro cutscenes. So here it is, without further ado, the top 5 Call of Duty Zombies cutscenes. So coming in at the number 5 spot is the Zetsubo no Shima intro cutscene. Now say what you want about Zetsubo, you know, we all know it's a bad map, we all know the map's terrible, it's just, the buckets are ridiculous, no one likes buckets. We just know that the, that the map itself is absolutely terrible and nobody ever wants to play it ever again, we just want to forget about it. But the intro cutscene to this map, in my opinion, is one of the best, just because it's just so cool. Like, actually watching it, I was like, wow, this is going to be a good map, and then we all know how it turned out. But actually just watching the intro cutscene, seeing that, that just... The cool thing where they're all on the ship there, you know, and they attack the, the guards or whatever and kill them all. And then the summoning key is about to fall in the water, but but they grab it just in time. Like, it's, it's a good cutscene and it's very cool. And, and that is the main reason why it's at the number five spot. This cutscene is way better than the Zetsu Bonoshima ending cutscene. I found the Zetsu Bonoshima ending cutscene very dull. It was the exact same thing as Dries and Jack, just it was Takio instead of Dempsey. So there wasn't much difference, so I kind of knew what was going to happen in that cutscene, so I didn't enjoy it as much. Plus, a lot of weird quotes in there that I didn't really understand. Uh, so this, that ending cutscene for Setsubo was not a good cutscene, and you know, it would went with the map. The map wasn't that good either, but I found this the only really good part of the map was by far the intro cutscene, because it was, it was entertaining, a lot of action going on, and very cool. So that is the main reason why it's at the number 5 spot. Uh, same as, I found the Rod Crovey ending cutscene sort of the same, I knew it was going to happen, so it wasn't that entertaining, it wasn't that fun to watch. So coming into the number 4 spot is the Shadows of Evil intro cutscene. And the main reason why that the Shadows of Evil intro cutscene is on this list and the number 4 spot is because this is the first cutscene we have got for Black Ops 3. This is sort of the beginning of Black Ops 3 Zombies, it's introducing us to Black Ops 3 Zombies. And it is also introducing us to four new characters. We see in this, we see Jack Vincent, we see Nero, we see Floyd Campbell, the boxer, we see Jessica Rose, the sort of stripper that kills them or some kills people or something like that. So we got introduced to four new interesting characters in this cutscene and it sort of just started the whole Black Ops 3 Zombies storyline. So that is the main reason why that this cutscene is at the number four spot and it is also a pretty cool cutscene. It's very well made. So the start of Black Ops 3 Zombies and pretty cool cutscene and just good interesting characters that we saw in this cutscene and that is why it is at the number four spot. So coming in at the number 3 spot is the Shadows of Evil outro cutscene, the easter egg cutscene that you get after you solve the easter egg. Now this, again, sort of started the Black Ops 3 storyline. We see Rick Tovin grab the summoning key, we all know the summoning key, the importance of that, that ball or whatever that is. So we see Rick Tovin grabbing that, and that's sort of right there, when he grabs the summoning key, that sort of just starts the whole storyline, the whole feature DLC maps, it just starts everything. So. That is the big reason why it is on this list and the number three spot. And it's also the first ending cutscene that we saw on Black Ops 3 Zombies. And it, again, is also a really cool cutscene. Um, nobody was kind of, well, I wasn't expecting Rick Toffin to come out. I didn't know what we were going to get after Shadows, after seeing these four new characters. I didn't know if Rick Toffin and Dempsey Tokyo and Nikolai are going to be back. But once I saw Rick Toffin pop out of the portal, the rift or whatever, right there, I just knew that... I, that the storyline for Black Ops Zombies is going to be incredible, and it was, as we saw in the future maps. So, and it all started because of the Shadows of Evil cutscenes. So coming in at the number two spot is the Origins ending cutscene, and I had to put this one on. The main reason why I had to put this cutscene on is because this cutscene was the cutscene that started sort of Black Ops 3 Zombies. This map, Origins, started Black Ops 3 Zombies storyline. It was. The beginning of the Black Ops 3 Zombies storyline, so I had to put this cutscene on, and as well, this is sort of the big, the first big cutscene we've ever got on Call of Duty Zombies, as well. So this is a really good cutscene, and we also got to saw Rick Tovin. We saw Rick Tovin as a kid, and that is pretty cool. Uh, so this was by far a great cutscene. It was the biggest we've saw at that point. I just really enjoyed this cutscene. It was very well made, very good overall cutscene. 10 out of 10 in my book. Now we saw a sort of similar cutscene. To this in Revelations, but it wasn't nearly as good as the original cutscene. It wasn't the exact same Revelations, obviously. This time in Revelations, we saw Nikolai, Dempsey, and Tokyo. We saw all the characters as kids playing in that room, but 
just Revelations was a bad map in my opinion. It was so it just just didn't it just the cutscene wasn't that good either. For a final map, it should have been a lot bigger and a lot better and more detailed than it was. It was sort of taking the same thing of Origins I found a bit, so it just wasn't a good cutscene. But this one was by far one of the best, and that is why it's at the number two spot. Now I had to put this cutscene at number one. I absolutely had to. This is the start of zombies. This cutscene that you just watched with the zombie running from the plane, it's coming right at you, and all of a sudden it fades to black and it says Nazi zombies. That cutscene right there was the first ever cutscene we've got on zombies that started Call of Duty zombies. So I had to put that one at number one. I absolutely had to. This cutscene is by far the most important cutscene as well because it was introducing us to zombies. Before this cutscene, nobody knew what the hell Nazi Zombies was. Nobody knew what Call of Duty Zombies was before this. So they had to have a cool cutscene to introduce us to the zombies mode and they definitely delivered. They gave us a pretty kick-ass cutscene and then they gave us Knocked on Toten, which was absolutely incredible. So and then they gave us all World War. All the World War maps were, in, were, in, were amazing from Varuk to Knocked. Like, from, they were good. They were absolutely good maps and that game, all that, oh, that whole game, World of War, started Call of Duty Zombies and made it what it is today. And it all started from this cutscene, from us all of a sudden looking at the this plane and we're just waking up and all of a sudden the zombie coming running towards us. That started all of Zombies, so I had to put that at the number one list. And that is why it's at number one, because this is by far the most important cutscene and it started Zombies, so obviously it will be at number one.